Everybody's thinking, I'm getting ready to be a leader. I'm getting ready to take it to the next. No, 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 no. I, now. Y'all are messing around. Y'all, y'all didn't hear what I said. Now. Do you realize the type of word that you've been getting people don't get in their life, let alone every week? God's downloading supernatural deposits into this generation because God needs you to influence your school, your college, your job now, your street now. Do you realize when you leave out of here, the anointing on your life is so heavy that angels like secret servants surround the vehicle that you're in to make sure that you get to the place that you need to go? And you don't believe me, but... I'm going to invoke Psalm 91, and he will give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways, lest you dash your foot against a stone. That means angels are literally assigned to your life because what is in you and what you are carrying is so valuable to the kingdom that you can't die if you try. I know know this is a mixed group, but I'm going to need y'all to really come grab this. I said, you can't die if you try. Now, some of y'all, that's the word, because some of y'all, the enemy's been whispering, there's so much drama in your life, I'm just broken, I'm depressed, why am I even alive? God, I've been going through hell, I've been hurting, I've been crying at night, I don't know why, I'm trying to figure out who I am, what I am, why I am, why I am, where I am, and when are you going to come? Have you ever heard me when I pray? I've been crying, I ain't heard no answers. I want you to know the reason why you haven't heard God speak is because he has matured you beyond baby steps. When you have a little baby, you've got to tell them every Tuesday, no, stop, go, move, yes, no, sit down, eat, no, Cheerios, yes, Cody, 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 stop, put it down, Cody. But as you mature in time, God stops speaking as much because you've got enough word in you to know when to make the right decision. And that's the Holy Ghost. Yes. What he's saying is, where do so I need you to grow up so that you can grow out? I'm searching for Joshua. Are you in here? I'm looking for a right now radical leader, unafraid and unashamed of the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody wants to be politically correct, but we don't want to offend anybody. And we don't want to make anybody uncomfortable. This is the word of God, and this is what we stand behind. And I will not apologize for calling on the name of the Lord. And if that offends you, then I'm right in line with the word. For Jesus Christ said himself, and you will be hated by all men for my sake. You thought I came to bring peace? No, I came to bring division. Separate mother from daughter, father from son, mother-in-law from daughter-in-law, and father-in-law and son-in-law. Jesus said, the moment you really step up and walk in the leadership, it becomes lonely. I'm, I'm trying to talk, bro. I'm trying, I'm trying to see if I can wake up Joshua in this room. Maybe there's a woman of God in a white sweater with a yellow shirt who understands that right now I'm speaking into your spirit because God is saying, I need Joshua to step up to the plate. You need to ask the Lord for the anointing of unpopularity. When you become a leader, some folks aren't going to like you. And that needs to be okay. Because the moment you make a stand and say, no, I'm not having sex as usual. Pastor Ricky and Pastor John Shree just gave up a four-week session in the month of February and told me that my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost and I am to keep my seed and my seed is for my wife only and I'm going to wait and if that makes me a punk or a sissy in your eyes, it don't matter. You can call me what you want, but I'm going to stand and I'm going to honor God. I'm going to live holy for the Leviticus 19 says, be ye holy for I the Lord your God am holy and I am called by the name of Jesus Christ and I dare not bring a reproach on his name and further than that I'm a leader in rendezvous somebody give God a praise praise willing to take up the mantle of unpopularity. I can't stand fence walkers. 
I'm going to serve the Lord tonight. Tomorrow, you are holy. Call me, I can make it. God is saying, I called you, I qualified you, I justified you, and now I've elected you to another level of office, and whether you know it or not, you've been inaugurated. Why? Because I need you to take the city. You don't believe me, so come with me to the Word of God. Go to Joshua, chapter 6. If you got it, say, I got it. No, you don't. He got it. You don't be telling a story. Don't you feel like that? No, no, like, how long? You ain't got no time? That's the right thing. How much time left? Yes. <laughs> so I'd ask, that's my mother. <laughs> I just had a flat. You want a whooping? Why would your parents ask you, do you want a whooping? <laughs> Have any of us ever said, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to go. Go ahead. <laughs> I've been bad. Bank my bottom. <laughs> you want a bat? You want a weapon? <laughs> film it. What? No, film it. Shut up. Don't you cry. say free food, <laughs> not plenty. <laughs> Where are you going? Sit down. You want a whooping? Sit down. <laughs> Sit down. You going to the bathroom? Go wash your hands. Hurry back. I'm talking about Jesus. <laughs> That's right. Go back in there. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Don't get up no more. I'm coming back there. You want a weapon? <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Don't get up again. Come on, my day, man. <laughs> <laughs>